Aloha, everybody. Hey, we are in Maui. We are having breakfast with a doctor. I don't know if you guys realize this, but our next guest here has had an honorary doctrine at the oh, University of Hawaii. Ladies and gentlemen, Auntie Genoa Kiavi. Aloha, Auntie. How are you? Aloha. Fine, thank you. You know, it's, it's very uh, unusual for us to catch you when you're having breakfast, isn't it? Yes. Well, it's an honor, and, and, and you're having... What are you having for breakfast, just to let everybody know? Well, ham and eggs. Ham and eggs. <laughs> Sandwich. Is that, is that right? Could you tell me a little bit about that wonderful doctrine? Uh, what an honor, you know what I mean? First of all, let me say this, 75 plus years of bringing wonderful Hawaiian music and uh, a tradition out there to everyone, and, and you were honored with the wonderful doctor title, correct? Yes. So, how did that... I, well, I was even surprised that they called me doctor. Yeah. You know? Yes. I said, but I'm not a doctor. I don't carry a, a satchel with medicine. <laughs> well, what a great honor. You know, Auntie, you've been playing music for, for so long. You never... It's okay. Come. Come. Yes, absolutely. <laughs> What, what we know about that she's a doctor, so she needs her, her vitamins. So oh, okay. come on in, yes, <laughs> Lauren. As you can see, you know, we're, we're here you. having breakfast with Auntie, and uh, we're catching her between a gig. She's got a gig in Lahaina. We're here in town, and, and we said, Auntie, can we have a few minutes of your time? And, and here she is. Hawaiian music today for you. Do you see it being the same, Auntie, uh, as the times you started? or? Do you see much of a change? How do you feel about that? Oh yes, it's still the same. It hasn't changed. Mm -hmm. More and more influences of uh, ukulele players. Yes. Jake is playing ukulele uh -huh. now. And, oh, playing now. I mean, he's always played then. Any wonderful, fun places that you've been able to play outside of, say, Maui? Oh yes. I've played uh, at the uh, Waikiki um, I forgot the name of that club. It's, it's okay. Been so long. That's okay. But, but anyway, I like it there. Sure. You sure. know, because it's my hometown. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Right across from my place where I work in Waikiki. Uh huh. Who was the biggest influence of Hawaiian music to you? The biggest. Yeah. Who helped you? Who, who influenced you? Oh, John Kamehalo Almeida. Oh. Who is the father of Pua Alameda? Is that correct? Yes. Yes, yes, yes. 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 Steel guitar playing at that time was quite prevalent. A lot of people played uh -huh, the steel guitar. Uh -huh. and, and now the ukulele is kind of taking that, that place. Yes. Um, but, this, but the steel guitar still goes strong. Right. Is I it, love the steel guitar. Is there anything that you haven't done yet that you want to do? No. No? You've done it all? I've done it all. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Auntie played in Russia. Tell me about uh -huh. that. Oh, I loved it in Russia. We we stayed for she about a two weeks mm -hmm. in Russia, and the people there just love oh, Hawaiian yeah. music. Yes, isn't that amazing? How Hawaiian music is. Uh, I mean, here's a language like Russian, where Hawaiian music is uh -huh. not played at all time, and they just grasp that is it because that's of, right is it because of you that they love do they love the music I mean, you know what i mean well they love the music and they love the way i sing it because i'm always smiling you know mm -hmm. and then when i keep on smiling they get to love it more people dance hula in russia sure they do they do oh my goodness chifkowski's halal <laughs> is one of auntie's long line of gigs over there <laughs> You, you know what's interesting, Auntie, is that the, the non-native um, has always looked at Hawaii from a, a perspective of much aloha. And I think you are the epitome of aloha, and I think a lot of those wonderful people just want to spend and share time like me to take a moment of your time. Um, what amazes me is that you feel at this point that you've done everything that you wanted to do. But, but you, you keep on going. I mean, uh -huh. you must have four to five gigs every week. You love performing still. I do. I, I love performing. 
and the people they enjoy themselves too. Mm -hmm. You know. Do you have a favorite so much, song? All my songs are favorites. <laughs> <laughs> Not, I don't have one favorite. Yeah. <laughs> Gonna have Auntie sing at breakfast. Go ahead, Auntie. Go. Thank you so much and <laughs> hey, we'll be right back right after this. Yeah. 